Laura Loomer, formerly of Project Veritas, is like social herpes. Somehow, no matter what kind of situation it might be, Loomer has a way of inserting herself into situations that is rivaled only by fictional characters. Some people may know her for briefly interrupting a play with a modern-day retelling of Julius Caesar, with Caesar replaced with Trump, of course. More people likely know about her from her social media meltdown with the Michelin Man. This is, of course, when her old tire blew out and she took pictures of it, claiming that a masked, soy-based life form must have tracked her down and slashed her tires. The pictures, however, tell a different story, and after the dust has finally settled, Laura Loomer is now known as the Crazy Tire Lady. Loomer is also the type of person to take an elevator ride, upload it to YouTube, and call it journalism. She also confronts people at book signings, including Hillary Clinton at Costco when Hillary was promoting her new book. Yes, I know, stunning and brave. Laura Loomer is the type of person that is so fun to knock down. Others, who otherwise wouldn't even speak to each other, come together to mock the former employee of James O'Keefe, Laura Loomer. Today, Loomer stuns us all again by handcuffing herself to one of the doors outside Twitter HQ with a bullhorn in hand as people walk past her and ignore her. You're lowering Twitter! Laura, you're lowering Twitter! Yeah, we're all gonna be there! So not only is her protest mostly ineffective due to the fact that people can still get in and out of the building, but she's also handcuffed to a door while people insult her and give her crap about her tire. Or, and loomering people. You can't, can't forget the fact that she loomers people. This is a reporter from Business Insider. He writes, LOL, people inform Laura Loomer that Twitter isn't pressing charges and she can stay chained to the door as long as she wants. Cop says to Loomer, if you need us, call us back. Well, as it turns out, those police officers might have to assist her, just not the way they figured they might have to assist somebody when they started their day. Tim Poole writes, Laura Loomer just said if she has to, she will pee in her pants. I'm sure that will be very embarrassing for Twitter HQ to have... Laura Loomer relieve herself on their front porch. So what are her demands? What is it that she wants? Well, she wants her Twitter account back. She told police that she'll leave if she just gets her Twitter account back. If she's unbanned from the platform, she'll leave. But of course, the police were more interested in telling her, you can stay here as long as you like. Peaceful protest, right? Go ahead and remain handcuffed to that door. You look lovely. We also have Mike Cernovich chiming in here. Laura Loomer has more courage than 99% of conservative men. Today shows that there are three genders, male, female, and conservatives. Good old, good old big brain Mike Cernovich, everybody. I'll say this much about Laura Loomer. She has a lot of heart and dedication. And when she puts herself in the mindset of doing something, she always goes out and does it. She always makes herself out to be a fool but with the proper oversight, I could see her being a very entertaining figure, even more than now in the coming years. I think she should keep doing stuff like this and chaining herself to a, to a door that no one cares about, especially because they can just walk in on the other side. I mean, she really should have thought that through just a little bit more. So to conclude with something a little bit more upbeat, we have the first ever sunset seen by human eyes on Mars. Now, unfortunately, they didn't get a video, but this screenshot right here captures the sun going behind the horizon over in Mars. It's breathtaking. So take that in, and I hope you all have a, a fun and interesting Thursday, and I'll see you all later.